I was in bed and I had the radio on and I heard something about an incident in Manchester. So I jumped out of bed and put a TV news channel on and shortly after went into work. The minute I left the house I had no plans that I would be going home um, later on that night. Two nurses from Stepping Hill Hospital in Greater Manchester were among many NHS staff who, having worked a full day already, chose to rush back into A&E as the full horror of the Manchester Arena terror attack unfolded. It was the first victim that came in. Um, it was probably most striking, obviously, for us um, because it gave us a real indication of the type of injuries that we were looking at sustaining. Then we received three of the patients in very quick close succession um, that obviously put a lot of pressure on the department, a lot of pressure on the nurses and we still had a full A&E department at the beginning of that night. We were very, very busy. Initially you're just very calm because you've been trained, you know what's expected of you and you know what you have to do and that's fine. I think it's only later on when you start to hear about the human side of it really that the emotion comes to you. Today, to a standing ovation, both nurses, along with NHS colleagues, were given the coveted Kate Granger Award, recognising selflessness, compassion and dedication within the NHS. They truly do epitomise everything that the awards stand for. And, you know, compassionate care happens every day, but the individuals, the teams and organisations that were involved in the aftermath of those atrocities are just unbelievable people. But for Joe and Charlotte, it's all in a day's work have a sense of duty towards people who need your care and you also have a sense of duty towards your team. It's lovely to be recognised but it, it's our job, it's what we love doing, it's, it, it's part of who we are. The Manchester Arena attack highlighted the resilience and compassion of NHS staff who put the needs of the victims and their families first. Today, the dedication of some of them anyway has been recognised. Catherine Jacob, 5 News, Manchester.